All right, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy CV Tech One coming at you live and direct with another reaction video. And this time, we're gonna tap in into the rules of cricket. Now, this video was suggested by someone that's in our Patreon. And by the way, the link will be in the description. If you want to join the Patreon, it's only one dollar. And once you're in there, you can request videos. And this video is one of them. I watch a lot of UK television uh, because I do love EPL. English Premier League and so as I'm changing the channel I do see a lot of cricket uh going on and I've watched it for five or ten minutes and I was just so lost here we are so we're gonna watch this and shout outs to doctor we appreciate that Dr. Cap and let's go and see what this is about it explains the rules of cricket the object of the game is for your team to score more runs than the opposing team teams are made up of 11 players with one substitute in case of injury at the beginning of the game, a coin toss is used to determine who bats first. The fielding team will put all 11 players on the field, whilst the batting team will send out two batsmen. Batsmen always work in pairs, okay. and a batsman cannot bat alone. The batsman's job is to score runs and defend. Work in pairs, and a batsman cannot bat alone. Okay. The batsman's job is to score runs and defend their wickets. These wickets are three wooden stumps with two wooden bales resting on top of them. They try and hit the ball away from the wickets and run to their partner's crease. If a batsman hits the ball and both men try and hit the ball away from the wits off three wooden stumps. Okay, so I never knew this. I thought it was like baseball. Like you're, you, like I'm trying to pitch to you and you're trying to hit the ball. And I never knew that the pitcher is trying to knock these things down. Oh, shout out to the channel because the way this channel explains rules in, uh, about different sports, it's so easy to understand. So easy to understand with two wooden bales resting on top of them. They try and hit the ball away from the wickets and run to their partner's crease. If a batsman hits the ball and both men safely run to the opposite crease, this scores one run. If the ball oh. rolls the ball high, wide, or throws a no ball, which is an illegal bowl, this automatically scores one run. If the batsman hits the ball along the floor and it reaches the boundary, this scores four runs automatically. Okay, if one point and four. And it reaches okay. The boundary, this scores four runs automatically without the batsman having to run. And if the batsman hits the ball in the air and it goes over the boundary, this scores six automatic runs. This is the highest scoring play in cricket. It's okay, because, whoa, look at his arms. Jesus Christ. Now that I just got the gist of, uh, of, the, of the game, so this guy, just looking at his arms, the one that's, let's say, pitching. I don't know if they call it pitching or throwing. He's literally trying to hit those through little those three blue sticks on the ground but the guy's blocking it though like how does that work he's he's actually blocking it i don't get that it's the job of the fielding team this is the highest scoring play in cricket that's a home run it's the job of the fielding team to get the batsman out of the game oh he got it it's the job of the fielding Ooh. team to get the batsman out of the game the fielding team can designate specific players to bowl the ball towards the batsman to bowl the ball a ball must be bowled over on and be within the channel of play in cricket, there are 10 ways for a fielding team to get you out. Number one, bowled out. If the bowler bowls the ball and it hits the batsman's wickets and knocks over the bales, he's been bowled out. Okay. Number two, caught out. If the batsman hits the ball in the air and it's caught by a fielder, he's been caught out. Okay. Number three, Easy. run out. If the batsman runs for his partner's crease and the ball is thrown into the wickets before the batsman gets there, he's been run out. Number four, uh, LBW. Wow. If the ball hits the batsman, been the what? run out. Number four, LBW. If the ball hits the batsman's leg and the umpire thinks that the ball would have hit the wickets if his leg wasn't in the way, he is ruled out by LBW leg before. Okay, so that's what I just asked because I was like, he's actually blocking it. How do I hit it? So if it hits his leg, it's LBW. Okay, all right. Leg before wicket. Okay. Hey, listen, man. What is this? Two minutes and I've learned so much already. I'm telling you, this channel is so cool, man. Literally two minutes. I've learned so much. And I try to watch cricket and I'm watching. I'm like, okay, you hit it. What is that? A home run? Why are the guys diving? What? I just didn't get it, man. Wicket would have hit the wickets if his leg wasn't I like in the way. it. If the ball hits the batsman's leg and the umpire thinks leg the ball before wicket. the wickets if his leg wasn't in the way, he is ruled out by LBW leg before wicket. Number five, stumped out. Oh. If the batsman swings and misses the ball, the wicket keeper can catch the ball and push the ball into the wickets. If this happens before the batsman can return to the crease, he's been ah. stumped out. 
number six, hit wickets or accidental outs. On the rarest of occasions, a batsman can get himself out or his own partner out by accidentally hitting the wickets themselves. The other four ways to get out in cricket almost never happen in today's game. These include hitting the ball twice in one stroke, handling the ball, obstructing a fielding player, or taking okay. too long to take to the field. Once a batsman is out, he's replaced by the next batsman in the batting team's lineup. Once 10 players are out, the players switch sides so that the batsmen are now the fielders and vice versa. The highest run total after both sides Ooh. have had their turn to bat wins. That's basically the game in a nutshell, but there are a few other things you'll need to understand. A bowler must deliver six legal balls to a batsman. Once six legal balls have been played, this is known as an over. Once an over is complete, a new bowler will then try and get the other batsman out by bowling the ball okay. from the other side. Once both teams have finished batting, this is known as an innings. The amount of overs and innings vary depending on the format of cricket. In 2020 cricket, each team is given 20 overs for one innings. This game generally lasts about three hours. In one day cricket, each team is given 40 or 50 overs for one innings. As the name implies, the game generally lasts about a day. In test cricket... Huh? What, what, what? 40, 50 overs, one... A whole day? What do you mean a whole day, bro? To any less about five days? Bro, okay, now you lose me. Let's, let's just go back. Oh my God, oh my God. What? In 2020 cricket, each team is given 20 overs for one innings. This okay. game generally lasts about three hours. In one day cricket, each team is given 40 or 50 overs for one innings. As the okay, but is this the same cricket as the, the first one? Or is this a whole different league of cricket? I, I, okay, th this, I'm kind of lost. Name implies, the game generally lasts about a day. And why would it be a day? Cricket, there are no limits for overs, and the game theoretically ends when all batsmen are out. And it's okay, test cricket. Okay, so these are three different versions. It's usually played for two innings. This game can last anywhere up to five days and is the oldest and longest form of cricket. If you're new to cricket, I highly recommend watching the highlights of any Indian Premier League game to start out with. If you're watching cricket on TV, they'll conveniently tell you how many runs have been scored, how many batsmen are out, and they'll even tell you what the other team scored and how many runs are required to win the game. Okay. Cricket may seem like a slow game, but as you watch or play it, the rules will become clear. If you have found this video at all helpful, please comment, like, share and subscribe. It takes me ages to make one of these things, and good karma is always appreciated. If you're also on Reddit, feel free to discuss the video over there. But in the meantime... Hey, show this guy some love, man. He makes good, good, informed videos, man. I like it. By the way, guys, I, I had to go back. What, which cricket do you guys watch? Five days, dude? Okay, I'm not going to bash it because I need to watch a game and see. I did watch one the other day, man. Like, the guy was hitting the ball everybody's cheering i'm like okay why is he still hitting like he, he was there for a long time and now i understand a little bit but which cricket do you guys watch and which one do you guys recommend because i have sky sports and every time i go to sky sports to watch some football cricket is on like i i think there's like cricket on like five different channels and i just never just bother to stop and watch too much because i don't know the rules so you know it's confusing and this is this is confusing to me so let me know which one I should watch? I do have Sky Sports. Which one do I watch? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm trying to, you know, ease into cricket because it is a big sport. And like I said, I always see it on TV. So let me know which one I should tap into. Uh, which one is, is more exciting? That's what I like. I need excitement. But I don't know if I can... Five days? Let me not judge it because I don't understand it yet. So what do you guys recommend? Put it down in the comment section below. Shout outs to Dr. Cap for the video. I'm going to try to ease into it. We'll see. I do love sports. I, you know, I got to watch it to really judge it. But this is a good start. Till next time. Peace.